Great to be here this afternoon. I will try to speak my best English for the English people among you. Being Scottish, it's quite difficult. <laughs> <laughs> so, should you have problems, I do also speak German. So we can go to German seriously if you want to do some translation. Just in between, yeah? Uh, great honour to be here. My story is the basis of my presentation today. And really what we're talking about, the next 90 minutes or so, is this pretty much this system or path that we see here. So we've got Home Pro, which is uh, the pro at the club who works a lot with juniors who are developing. Maybe they started with him as their coach. Then we have a situation with a regional coach, a district in, in Germany, a landis trainer, someone who in a, a, covers a large area, and then the possibility of a national coach who obviously oversees the national team. So I understand in smaller golfing countries the process may go directly from home pro to national coach without a regional coach. And within this framework, we have obviously the player who is number one in the system. So really my presentation today and my research and my findings recently and my, my, my beliefs, my thoughts, my experience is how does this all work together to benefit the player but also the coaches, right? Can I see a quick show of hands? Who of you are either regional or national coaches? Could you put your hand up? A regional or national coach? Probably about half, okay. So for the next 90 minutes, I may be your antichrist. I may be your devil. We're going to talk about, right? I was meant as a joke. I'll try to be nice, <laughs> right? So let me first of all talk about my story. And as we go along, you're more than welcome to ask questions and stop. Really, quite happy to go off track and come back to a story later. So what's my story? Um, between 2001 and 2008, I've always been really focused on, on doing good work. But there's two things that really, we say in English, got my juices flowing, that I was really motivated on. One was golf training aids, which I designed and, and developed and sold. And the other one was junior development. And um, as part of my story, uh, one of my first sentences is my regret and what has kind of happened, which is quite interesting. So this was 2006, which was at the time the highlight of my junior coaching days as a home coach. So we developed our own kids. And uh, this is the German team championships, Deutsche uh, Mannschaftsmeisterschaft for children, under 18 boys. And it's a big deal in Germany, it's a big achievement. Because the state that I'm in, Baden-Württemberg, is in the southwest, and we've got a lot of wealthy golf clubs who can finance children and their parents more easily than us. And we're a modest club in the country. So with a lot of hard work, a lot of free time, I heard Stephen Orr talking this morning, we developed our own children to become really good, really young. Um, so we had five players that gained um, state recognition and two players went on to national level within seven years with really minimal financial support. So this is 2006, this is a German team, this is the, our team captain, a very good friend of mine to this day and he came to golf from skiing and he was a ski teacher, clever man and he had a, a system which I learned from a lot at that time, how to develop children based on what we, he'd done in skiing, being very successful. And this is our team on the right hand side. And we finished ninth that week. So it was ninth of, let's say in Germany, 800 clubs. We were disappointed. We should have finished top three. We had the players to finish top three. So that was 2006. Now, nine years later, I thought, I thought we were really cool. I thought we were doing really good work. But nine years later, of this team here, We've got two professionals, but unfortunately three that no longer play golf, they quit. And only one that's still a member of our golf club, and they all live locally. So I messed up. Something's gone wrong. So we can talk about it as we go along. So this is my story. That's one of my kind of emissions to start with. We did something wrong in the development process. We created good players. But half of the team no longer play nine years later. And they've chosen to quit. They didn't need to quit. 
they chosen to leave the game. So there's a story there we can talk about later on. So with these players then, and my ambition, our ambition, we say we provided these five players that went on to state level and national level. And during that seven year period, really had varying degrees of, of relationships with the state coaches and national coaches. And I wasn't very happy about what happened. So my story is that, and my bias is coming to the story with this aspect as a club pro and what I've seen. So when I spoke to Tony back in January, I said, I think I've got an idea for you. Um, I was aware I couldn't just come and tell my story because it's one-sided. And you get feedback from other coaches to come today. And as with any kind of mini-research, there are limitations. I only spoke to four home coaches. I only spoke to four national coaches. And these countries all in Northern Europe with the system may be different. There's a cultural difference there. But these are their stories. These are the feedback. I'm going to let you read slide for slide. And we'll discuss our findings in the next couple of minutes. So this is my story, my bias. And these are the findings. So the home coaches I went to, luckily because I travel a lot and I speak to a lot of colleagues, and I like discussion, <laughs> I like argument, um, people were prepared to talk to me. And these are four home coaches in four different countries who've all produced players that have gone on to play internationally and also professionals. These are really four leading home coaches um, across Northern Europe. So I'm going to let you read these slides. I'll pull them all up. And this is Stephen. These are alibis. These aren't the proper names. These are the... And you let me know when you've all read them. Yes. Sorry? This is a coach. This is a coach. Home coaches. This is all at the moment about the relationship between home coaches and regional coaches and national coaches. Sorry. This is home coaches number one. This is the first feedback I had. I asked them four questions per email. And these were really the findings we got back from them. This is Stephen, Alibi in England, home coach. John X is a regional coach. Everyone read that? Home coach number two. Pull them all up. Again, Alibi, Anonymous. This is James, based in Central Europe. Produced a lot of kids and national players and worked with a number of tour professionals. Okay. Home coach number three. Only asked four coaches. And this is... This is William in Ireland. Again, Alibi. His name's not William. And lastly, this is um, some stuff that gives it away. This is from a German spoken country, Eric in Central Europe. That's what he said. So, four countries, four producers of talent. This is their feedback, all in Northern Europe, unfortunately, nothing in Southern Europe. Now we come to national coaches, don't worry, come to regional coaches. But based on that, if I ask you the question, if you were neutral, if you weren't involved in coaching, you read those, those four pieces of, those four sound bites, those four pieces of feedback, what issues have you heard there or read? Those four coaches generally, what are the kind of words that stick in your mind? Mm. Anything else? Enforced. Enforced. <laughs> Stephen actually said, interestingly, he was the, um, I sent an email that afternoon, he answered like within an hour. He had some stuff to get off his chest. And he said, interestingly, um, 
was the national coaches thrust upon them. Quite interesting. Right? So you see it enforced. And again, that's recognising his bias. You know, he tend, has a tendency to... So, enforced. What else have you read? Parents. Oh, parents. Safety, Dave? Safety. 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 In what respect? Not to people are not feeling safe here. Yeah. <laughs> um, would you then say, what's another word for safety? Non-safety. Um, well, safety from the perspective of the, <laughs> on the slide, the, whether it's the player, the parent, or coach in question, people are unsafe in this yeah. environment. Yeah. Um, yeah. Non-safety. Unsafe. I just mean, no. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, I was going to say before, I did bring my bulletproof vest, because it's going to get heavy. Yeah. So, uh, unsafe, I'm going to say, um, what's the word we can use? I've lost it in English. Fear or intimidation. Fear, intimidation, unsafe, fear. What's not confident enough? Yeah, anyone else? Compliance. Compliance. Is that a need for compliance, Stephen, without putting words in your mouth? Compliance. Compliance. Need to comply. And else? Qualified. Kev. And by the way, I didn't leave out any nice stuff. Just that, that's just what I got back from those four coaches. Jimmy, you want to see something? No, no trust in the, in the competences at all. Uh, lack of trust. <coughs> Anything else? No team for the player. No team. No, yeah, 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 yeah. No team play. No team support. No team play for player. Now remember I went back and said at the, the first session it showed you seven boys there. Three have quit. Um, and we'll get to say that certainly part of the issues they were definitely lack of team play on my part when I was a home coach, without doubt. Martin, you want to say something? Um, it sounds to me that I have to take a decision. They don't, don't want to take. Yeah. You're talking about the coaches or the players? Both, both sides. Yeah. Decision making. Decision making. Maybe two more if they're in the room. Yes, sir. Besides, because it's a general problem that there are more uh, sides than one. So, many sides? Yeah. yeah. Multi sided, yeah. I've decided. Maybe one more to fill my paper. Spoke about this morning. They denied choice. No choice. No choice. Yeah. So no autonomy. Wow. And you know, I came into this thinking there was issues. I came into this with my bias, my past, social media. I use a lot. Spoken to colleagues. But I wasn't aware, I didn't the feedback from the colleagues, and you see the national coach now, it would be as clear cut, unhappy as it is. Again, let them read you, let them, I'll let you read them. <clears throat> In the UK, of a very successful golfing nation, NGB's national governing body, federation, you could also even say it would be a regional county, uh, the national governing body, I'm sorry. Okay, number two. So Peter's an, a formal coach, former coach. Martin, again, alibi, current county coach in the UK, a strong county. A CAP is County Academy Programs. So that's like a starter program that leads to counties. So that's like baseline, showing talent, and the county programs for, for more advanced players. So CAP is County Academy Program. 
and CGP's County Golf Partnership. That's part of that's the whole system. Number three, a current national coach in another UK country. There you go, Daniel Alibi, a coach in Ireland, regional coach, an assistant within a national coaching programme. Everyone got it? Interesting. Whew. I think so. Um, if we review those four regional national coaches, um, does one stand out as being different than other ones? Which, which one's different? Right here? Why is it different? What do you think? Or what do, what's the different vibe there? What's the, how are the feedback different than the other ones? There's more communication. Scott? There's, a, there's, relation, there's communication going on? Yeah. Trust. Trust. There's, some, there's trust here. Interesting. Anything else? Safe. So we've got uh, unsafe. We're going to go for safe. Right? Accepting other opinions. Is that respectful? Yeah. Uh, other opinions? Other opinions count? I see there was nothing, there was no, that's not, nothing I missed there, that was it all, there was nothing on the other side. And the first three, what did you get there? What was your feedback from the first three national coaches? What was the tendency? What were the conflict? conflict? Let's see, we're going to say conflict, lack of trust. I'm going to say conflict here. What else did you hear in the first three? No communication. Again, no communication. Anything else? Fed up. Sorry? Fed up. Fed up, yeah, frustration. <clears throat> wow, without doubt. So these are four successful golfing nations and it would seem to be that the people responsible for the coaching processes, the home pros, the regional coach, national coach, aren't that happy with the relationships with another player in the team. And that can't be good for the players. And it's probably not good for the coaches either. So let's move on. So, what does research say? And someone that came up there a number of times was parents, the influence of the parents. And uh, I say to my parents now, we're, our junior programme went downhill and now we're on the way up. And the, one of the differences I've made now, as opposed to the past, is there's way more parent influence and, and welcoming. We had a junior tournament on Sunday, that's why I couldn't come Sunday, and have the parents walk the course with the kids. From about kids between six and nine years old, right? To just just be with them, just be involved. Whereas in the past, I'd keep them on the sidelines. I think one of the mistakes I made in the past. So this is more than a home coach versus regional coach debate, and this is the findings from Justin Branton in 2013, his, his um, M. Phil Master Philosophy study, and he looked at the relationship between home coaches, parents, and players, a three-sided relationship. And what we said there, parents can help gain respect and trust for the coach and arrange opportunities that provide positive outcomes in developing a coach-athlete relationship. Basically means if the parent likes you as a coach, you're in. If the parent doesn't like you, you may be out over time. They can also instigate the breakup of a coach-athlete relationship by creating a negative influence in that relationship, such as providing negative feedback looking for a new coach, looking for a new environment. 